everyone and welcome to this video on KPI visuals in Power BI. Power BI's KPI visuals serve as a dashboard for your success. They instantly show if you're meeting your goals by tracking key metrics with dynamic updates and trend indicators. So, it's the best way to transform raw data into real-time insights quickly, clear and actionable. So, before we begin, like, share and subscribe. Do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from the Edureka's YouTube channel. Also, check out the Edureka's Microsoft Power BI certification training in collaboration with PwC Academy, the link to which is given in the description box below. So, let's see what we will cover in this video. First, we will go over the KPI use case. Then, we will see why should we use KPIs in Power BI. Moving on. We will have a look at what are the Power BI KPIs and next the KPI advantages followed by disadvantages and finally how to use KPIs in Power BI. Alright, so let's get started. So in this video we considered Blinkit's example where we will show how Blinkit made use of KPI in Power BI. The Blinkit grocery store chain faces challenges in tracking and optimizing its key performance indicators such as sales trends inventory levels and customer satisfaction. Decision makers are struggling with the following challenges. First, identifying underperforming products. Next, forecasting inventory needs to avoid overstocking or stockouts. Then, understanding customer buying patterns to improve marketing campaigns. Then, monitoring operational efficiency across different stores. So now that we have explored the use case, so let's move on to the challenges faced by Blinkit during this journey. So the challenges faced are first data silos here different systems for sales inventory and customer feedback make it hard to unify data next manual reporting so here generating reports manually is time consuming and prone to errors next lack of real time insights decisions are based on outdated or static data next comes the scalability issues as the chain grows Analyzing data manually becomes impractical. Next, let's take a look at the tools Blinkit relied on before transitioning to Power BI. So the first tool is the spreadsheet. For example, Excel, used for manual reporting but lack interactivity. Next, basic reporting tools, limited to static charts and predefined views. Next, ad hoc scripts. This allowed custom scripts in Python or R for advanced analysis but not accessible to non-technical users. With that in mind, let's see how the tools evolved after implementing Power BI and the improvements it brought. So here are the tools. First, Power BI dashboards, which allows real-time interactive dashboards with drill-down capabilities. Next, data integration. It provides connections to multiple data sources, example, sales databases, inventory systems, and customer feedback. Then comes DAX and Power Query. It helps with advanced calculation and data transformation within Power BI. Now, let's explore the solutions that address these challenges. So, using Power BI, Blinkit addressed its challenges with the following approach. First, unified data platform. It integrates sales, inventory, and customer feedback data into a single Power BI workspace. Next, dynamic dashboards. Helps to create dashboards for real-time tracking of KPIs like sales trends, stock levels and customer satisfaction scores. Next, forecasting and insights. Implemented predictive analytics using Power BI's AI capabilities to forecast demand and identify sales opportunity. Next, enhanced collaboration. It enabled teams to share reports across departments with updated cloud-based dashboards. Next, let's understand why KPIs are so important in Power BI. Well, Using KPIs in Power BI is critical for tracking performance, making data-driven decisions, and aligning with business objectives. So here is why they matter. KPIs simplify complex data by distilling large datasets into simple visuals, allowing stakeholders to assess whether goals are met quickly. Next, monitor progress. They provide real-time data on key metrics such as revenue, customer satisfaction, and project timelines allowing you to identify trends and areas for improvements. Then, improve decision making. By visually comparing actual performance to targets, KPIs help prioritize actions and focus on what is most important. So in a nutshell, KPIs convert raw data into actionable insights, 
making your Power BI dashboards more effective and strategic. Now, let's dive into what KPIs in Power BI are all about. Here, let's define KPIs and show you how to visualize them in Power BI. So, KPI, which stands for Key Performance Indicators, allows you to assess how effectively your company meets key business objectives. Power BI KPIs track key metrics like sales, profit, or satisfaction against targets. They show actual values, goods, and trends using visual indicators, enabling quick insights and informed decisions. Now, let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of using KPIs in Power BI. So, the KPI advantages include monitoring the target. This KPI helps the organization monitor their performance in a visual manner. The next advantage is timely reports. With this KPI, the organization be able to check whether they can execute their plan or not. Then comes simplifying process. Modern businesses can use KPIs for their advancements of profit. Now, moving on to KPI disadvantages. Disadvantages include like time taking. It does not offer information on which action can be taken immediately. Next, implementation. Do not try to overload with more than one data. Always start with simple implementation. So now, we will demonstrate on how to use KPIs in Power BI. Now, we will move on to the hands-on. So let's perform how to use KPIs in Power BI. First, we need to source the data. So go to Excel workbook. And from here, select the file. Click on that. And here, you can see the file I'll be using named Blinkit Grocery Data. So click on that and open the file. Now, click on load to load my file and it might take some time to load. Now, if you want to check if your dataset is loaded, look at the right side. Here, you will see that your dataset is loaded. Okay, now, on your right hand side, you can see visualization. So, from here, we are going to select a graph. So, from here, we will be using KPI graph. So, just click on it. So as you can see the screen, the graph is here. Now we need to add the values. So again, on the right hand side, you can see the value and these are the data set. Now we want to find the total sales value. So for that, we will be using formula. So click on new measure. So as you can see the screen, the formula bar will open. Here, we will type the formula. So, I will rename the measure as total sales to find the total sales of the data set using the formula. So, basically, we are using this formula to find total sales value based on sales target. So, the formula here is we have total sales equal to sum. So, under sum, we are going to select the data set name, which is the Blinkit Grocery Data. And we are selecting the column, which is the sales. Now, if you see on the right hand side, the total sales column is created. Now, moving on to next step, let us find the sales target, where our sales target is set to 50,000. So, let us follow the same steps. Click on new measure. And as you can see, the formula bar will open. Here, we will type the formula. So, this is our formula, which is sales target equal to the target that we have set, which is 50,000. So, as you can see on the right hand side, you can see the sales target column, which is created. So, under value, we are going to add the total sales column. So, just drag and drop it. Okay. Next, under the trend axis, we are going to add outlet establishment year. So, again, we will drag that column as well. And then under target, we are going to add sales target column. So, that's it. So, as you can see, the graph is ready. So, this graph is showing the total sales and the sales target by outlet establishment year. You can choose charts based on your preferences. So, if you want to display values more clearly according to yearly revenue, we recommend using an area chart. So, on the right hand side, under the visualizations, you can select this area chart. So, again, under x axis, I am going to select the outlet establishment year. And under secondary y axis, I am going to select the total sales. Alright. So, the only difference between the two charts is that the KPI chart does not display values based on the year, whereas the area chart displays value by year, making it easier to analyze the values.
So one more thing to see here is both graphs are displaying the same values. Additionally, the data set we are using includes data up to the year 2022, which is why the values are shown only up to 2022. Now, if you remember, the sales target was set at 50,000. So considering this, the sales have increased by 162.96%, which is why we see the tick mark on the graph. Now, to display values by year on the graph, we can use a slicer chart. And this allows us to filter and analyze data for specific years. So for that, under visualizations, I am going to select this slicer chart. So click on it and align it. Now, again, on the right hand side, you can see the field. Uh, so under field, I am going to drag and drop the outlet establishment year. So this way, it will display all the years. And now go to format your visuals. And from here, click on the slicer setting. Here, you can see many options under style. So here, by default, we have between. So I'm going to keep it as vertical list. So select the option. And again, you can see the selection here. Click on it. Here, you need to disable the multiple selection. So just disable and it's ready. So why have we done this is because we can select multiple years to get values. So this is how you can select multiple years. Now, as you can see, I have selected the year 2012 and 2014. So according to that, the data has been displayed. Now, let us add effects to the charts. For that, go to format your visuals and here under the general, select effects. So under effects, let us select the visual border. So under visual border, let us select the color of your border. So I'm going to keep it black and then you can also increase the rounded corners and also the width and that's it. Now you can also enable the shadow. So that's it. If you want to add more effects, you can do it. So for now, I'm just going to keep it basic. So once you've added an effect to the chart, there's no need to make changes to each one individually. So you can simply use the Format Painter to automatically apply the same effects to other charts. So click on Format Painter and click on the chart to apply the effects. Well, that's it. So KPI visuals combine numbers, trends and goals to tell a dynamic story. They convert raw data into actionable insights guiding you to success with each click. Consider them as a compass keeping you on track with your goals and adapting in real time to your decisions. So with this, we have come to an end to this video on KPI visuals in Power BI. If you enjoyed it, please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any doubts and queries, we will reply to them at the earliest. Also, do look up for more videos and playlists and subscribe to the Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you for watching and happy learning.